from burning waste, exhaust fumes and industrialization are forms of pollution that can be seen. But pollution is made up of hundreds of different particles and gases that are often not visible to the naked eye and can be more harmful. So a lot of the air pollution is coming off our PMs, so our particulate matter, which is very, very small particles. They specifically affect uh, unborn children. They affect children under five and those that are over 60. So those are your vulnerable groups. We see a lot of mine dust as well in TSPs, your total suspended particles, and a combination of VOCs and um, sulfurs. All of these combined make very, very bad um, inhalation risk and put you at very large exposure to air pollution risks. Now researchers and scientists at the Witts Institute for Collider Particle Physics developed an environmental monitoring system using AI to collect data. This school in Soweto was part of the pilot. A device was placed here over a year ago to collect data. Now that the pilot is complete and funding has been received, up to 500 new devices will be deployed across the country, not only to look at more data, but also to start looking at mitigation. So for instance, at a school like this, once the device starts recording dangerously high levels of pollution, it will sound an alarm, alerting students to wear their masks. What the pilot has um, taught us is the fact that pollution is driven by hotspots. And the hotspots last for about an hour to two hours at the most, even half an hour. So the way to deal with this is to issue alerts through uh, automated systems such as apps or similar type of um, digital footprints that can provide and propagate um, alerts or digital alerts, just like the weather. Professor Bruce Malado and his team are now working through the data to find solutions to improve air quality and reduce respiratory illnesses. There are several sources of pollution in the city. One, the obvious one is traffic, traffic driven which creates a modulation between day and night. But also you can see, you can appreciate that the pollution driven by traffic is uh, strongly correlated with rush hours. So it doesn't mean that the pollution is bad throughout the day or throughout working hours, but it has severe spikes. So that helps us a lot in identifying remedial action in particular areas. We also see that burning, particularly illegal burning, has also a very serious footprint in um, uh, the accumulation of uh, pollutants in the city. The new AI real-time monitor is a world first and has the ability to save lives and the environment. Sumitra Nadu, CGTN, Johannesburg.